oh man, it was almost a year before the tour started where I thought the record was pretty much done. It got delayed, but actually that was kind of good because it gave me time to think about uh, the concept that I had for the show, which was to have everybody be mobile. In my head, I could hear the energy and I thought, okay, if we can make this work, it's going to be very exciting. The journey began last summer to try and find some gear that could actually do 48 channels of wireless with a load of in-ears. And oh, by the way, once you've got all these RF channels, we're going to hang 125 feet of chain around the stage. I'm John Chadwick. I'm the monitor engineer for the David Burntorn. It was a case of phoning around a few industry contacts saying, hey, what have you got coming up? because nothing that I know of that's out at the minute can do what we're actually trying to do. Unfortunately, my friends at Shaw said, oh, we've got something coming out next month that you should probably take a look at. Axiom Digital is amazing. This tour wouldn't exist without it. I don't think it would be possible, A, because of getting the bandwidth that's necessary for that many channels of wireless, and B, because it just sounds, you know, so much better than, than the analog side. My name's Pete Kepler. I have been a live and studio engineer for, this is my 39th year. I'm recording every show and I have listened back to several recordings and mixing a little bit. Um, it sounds amazing. All the high frequency stuff, everything that I would have expected to hear, like little, oh, that's not quite the same. I don't hear it at all. It sounds as good as any wired system I've ever heard. I get what I think is an exciting mix because we've got all the transients from the percussion. You don't lose any of it in compounding. <laughs> People were saying, this sounds too good for you guys to be actually playing this. You've got tracks, you've got playback happening, right? And so now we do a thing where we start a song instrument by instrument and people hear how the whole thing fits together. I've been a relatively long time Shore user. The software side of Sure, wireless workbench is leaps and bounds ahead of other products. My name is Jamie. I use Timeline and Frequency Plot to just keep a scan going of the environment throughout the day and Timeline to see if things are actually dropping out or if someone's just walked too far away. The battery rack system I knew of from uh, the analog Axiant. And when I found out how many packs we were going to be sending out on a daily basis, which I think we send 66 or 67 packs out per day. I couldn't really with good conscience use that many double A's and then throw them away that day. And we've done some rough bar maths and by the end of the tour we'll have saved around 21,000 double A's from being thrown away. Even today I checked on the health status of some of these batteries. We're over 100 shows now and they're still showing 100% health. It's just a good brand. The stuff is built well and less on the road. I know for a fact things have been dropped. Things have hit the floor pretty hard um, and we haven't, nothing's broken. I, I don't think that we've necessarily put it to the use for which it was entirely intended. Um, throwing microphones and transmitters on drums that are being beat on pretty severely th for two hours. There was a lot of things that could have gone wrong. In this case, completely empty stage and Tire band mobile is a really simple idea, but technically, yeah, not so easy to realize. <laughs> Just the fact that they can move around and not worry about dropouts, interference. They pass through the chain. They even do a song encased in the chain. There's no issues. Anything that we throw at Axiom Digital, it just seems to work. We're on show 114, we forgot what normal is. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do next, but it's hard to imagine going back to a kind of more conventional setup now, certainly for me, but I think for others who have seen this show, they're also thinking, whoa, uh, he's moved the goalposts. 